UGD coming at you with the high score over and out dual controlled stereo electronic hearing protection. God almighty, that is a mouthful. And I got these at the Cabela's on sale for $19.95, which, uh, you know, I thought was pretty reasonable for uh, earmuffs. I mean, heck, you're going to spend 20 bucks on decent earmuffs as it is. And I've never owned electronic earmuffs before. And I thought, what the heck? We'll give it a try. They come in this blister pack right here, which, uh, yeah, have your scissors ready. You're going to be hacking on that thing. And it gives you a little bit of the information on the back. These, uh, these earmuffs are made in China. And they do come with a owner's manual, which uh, gives you a little bit of the information that you need to know and, and uh, to get you started. And replacement parts, which uh, I'll touch base on there, why they have those on there. Uh, it does require four AAA batteries, two for each muff. These are independent earmuffs. These are independent speakers. And if you look on the back here, we have a volume control on-off switch for both earmuffs. And when you turn it on, you get a red LED that tells you that baby's working. On the front of these bad boys is the microphone, which captures the sound. Now, to give you the rating on this, it is 20 to 23 decibel reduction. Anything over 85 decibels is muted. That's right. Anything over 85 is muted. There is a delay when you turn these things on, about two or three seconds before it starts working. Now, I don't know how the magic works inside of it, but we're going to go ahead and crack that baby open to let you take a look at it. And you got to use a quarter. That's right. Got to pry it apart with a quarter. There's a whole lot of foam baffling in there. Here's the inside of it, fellas. Uh, it does run on, like I said, two AAA batteries for each side. There's all the magic that goes on, and there's your speaker. The build quality of it, you know, I think there's a little bit to, to be desired, frankly. Uh, when you pry this thing apart, and I've only done it a few times, put batteries in, and, and of course here to show you, you can see it's starting to kind of start to chip away, which uh, I think over time that baby is probably going to have to be addressed. The quality of the adjustment of the overhead, uh, you know, a lot, lot to be desired there. I mean, there's a, you know, a definite ridge in the molding, which is, uh, yeah, not too exciting. And it's all plastic. And the foam upper, uh, you know, it's got a little bit of padding there, uh, not uncomfortable, but again, it feels cheaply made, like maybe over time this is going to be an issue. But nicely enough, they do give you uh, a way to order replacement parts, which, uh, yeah, I think that might be something we have to do down the road if we keep this for very long. The audio sound quality is, is about like a walkie-talkie. And what I did was I stuck a lapel mic inside the muff and did a quick test at uh, off, half volume, and full volume. And then at the end of it, I snap my fingers to try to get to the 85. And you can hear the muting, but then you can also hear an audible click when the system comes back online, when the speaker starts carrying sound again. So let's go ahead and run that through. Testing high score over and out. Dual control stereo electronic hearing protection with the volume off. Turn the volume on now. Halfway. High score over and out. Dual control stereo electronic hearing protection test. One, two, three. Volume at full. High score over and out. Dual control stereo electronic hearing protection test. One, two, three. Snap. 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 Now you can definitely hear that that the the sound quality is not crystal clear, but it does get the business done. And where I liked having this, when we took this to the range for the first time, of course, I had them on. We were shooting 22s and 9 millimeters, and we were outside. And, and you know, you, it takes a little bit to get used to having that sound coming in and out as it does. But after I was pretty comfortable that these do do the job as far as muting the sound, I handed it over to my boy and, and let him take him for a test drive. And what's great about that was I was able to communicate with him clearly while we're at the range. So if you're with a new shooter, a young shooter, you can communicate instantaneously. Uh, and they do fit him well. They fit me well because they are fully adjustable. But to compare the build quality, the ones that I really like are these Champion Slims. These, these are my favorite. I've had these forever, and they just keep holding up. And the, one of the differences that you'll see is they have a metal bar here over the muff, which I think is a better build quality. Uh, the padding on the top is a little bit better for the Champions. Now, these slims are rated about the same at 21, 22 decibel reduction. You get into the uh, the bigger champions, you're talking 27 decibel reduction. 
Uh, and these are, again, they do have a metal carrier for the earmuff. When we go shooting indoors, we don't just use the earmuffs. We also use earplugs. And these are a 25 decibel reduction. Now, these combined together, again, you can hear somebody speaking to you. It does come in a lot better. So there is an advantage to it. Now, at uh, $49.99, I probably wouldn't be a buyer on these. Just the build quality is not there for me. At $20, bucks, yeah, I think they're great. They get the business done. And if they do quit working, I've got a $20 pair of earmuffs. So this is UGD bringing you the high score over and out stereo electronic hearing protection model 30 28.5. God, that's a mouthful. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you think I need to go ahead and mute myself, hit the dislike and uh, please subscribe.